So this work was done uh, in 1967. I was 25 years old and I had, although I'm born in Nueva York in Brooklyn, I was coming from Chicago and I had been a civil rights uh, photographer. So I was known, what you call it, like a, as a people photographer. In other words, my, my strength and my reputation was in photographing people. And so I arrived in this area of Lower Manhattan because uh, that's where artists live. And I had a very good friend, the sculptor Mark de Subaru. And I, I, uh, he was the only guy I knew. And so I, that's where I moved. Paid and I got a very small place. It was like 400 square feet. And so I, I was looking out the window and I thought, what, what's the story? I mean, what's, what's the story of journalism? What's going on here? And, you know, there were no people. So I, I, I took my camera, which was a Rolleiflex, and uh, there was demolished buildings. I mean, and I went inside a building and I'm going like, gee whiz, look at this building. And, and it was really old, this one. It had lighting from you know, the early 19th century and beams. And, and, and I thought, and I, and I took a picture. But in the morning, I woke up and I looked out the window and I thought, that's the story here. The story is this demolition of buildings. And I also thought of that name, the destruction of all that happened is very kind of, you know, apoc apocalyptical. It's like the end of the world. At this moment in history, America is in deeply involved in Vietnam, and it's very controversial. Young people like me hate the war and the hippies hate the war, and the students hate the war. But the, the, the blue collar workers, the construction workers, and the demolition workers, and everybody who works with their hands, the actual workers in the streets, they supported the war. And it had a tripod. And, and the camera was wide enough that I, I'd march around with my cape, my tripod over my shoulder. Dominic was a World War II veteran, and he fought in the Pacific, which was a very brutal fight. And he saw me and he says, you know, what did he say? He said, why do you have a goddamn camera over your shoulder? You should have a gun. I don't give a fuck what your letter says. If you come near one of my buildings, I'm gonna drop a wall on you. I would take the pictures on weekends because there was no cars in the streets and there were no demolition. It was very dangerous, by the way. 